Welcome to the Dr. Orange Pill Pillcast. I'm Jesse with Shaquib Farah, owner of Safari Restaurant on 116th Street in Harlem, philanthropist, Ethereum developer, co-founding member of Harlem Bitcoin community, and a hardcore Bitcoiner. Did I miss anything? No, except to that, I am also the cook, so. Come Let's on, do it. Come on in. Today. We're cooking today uh, a traditional Somali cuisine called pasta saldata, which is a pasta spaghetti with a red sauce. It's very light tomato sauce but it's a delicious. So I will show you my magic. So throughout the, when COVID happened, we're mandatory being closed by the city and the state because of the COVID. And we didn't have no customers coming in. And then we wanted to just kind of uh, utilize this space so we can give the hungry New Yorkers who are struggling a way that this community kitchen can be utilized and to serve. Of course, you cannot have Somali cuisine without the banana. So it is complete. And that is spaghetti pasta saldata, Somali version of pasta saldata. Mm. <laughs> so let's, let's do the taste. All right, let's do it. Aha, this is espermuto. A traditional Somali drink. Lovely. It's Thank a, you. It's, a, it's, a, it's a fermented grapefruit. So it has a little kick of uh, grapefruit. Here we go. We gotta Thanks put this, this to taste. Cheers. Cheers. Pasta soldato, guys. Let's do it. Yep. Mm. Love it. So that was very important because A, uh, we wanted to have a community where we learn from each other and teach each other. My initial thinking will be just to have a base where people that don't have an opportunity into the traditional financial system that existed years and hundred years, and the more that we, we, we uh, put the awareness into the community, the more people get involved with it, the better it is for their future. Uh, for me, personally, it means uh, that, I mean, I run a business here, and I have, uh, for a simple case, when I'm processing your check or your, or your bill, I have to pay a processing fee of 3% to 2.93% roughly. And that is a slow. It takes a three days for, for me to get my, my transaction. High processing fee. All of those things, when you just add it up, it costs my bottom line, you know? And so imagine if there would be a, a technology which Bitcoin offers an alternative where there's no intermediary for me doing a business with someone that pay me exactly the amount of the payment and I won't have to deal with the processing fee or two days or three days for the bank. Historically, we all know that the African-Americans and, and the people in Harlem were financially being excluded from the sort of a, the banking system or financial system that existed here and I think that the bid, bid license absolutely should be abolished or repealed. This, this license basically gives a certain group an opportunity to make money in this new economy. And it just actually takes away people like me to ever be involved with this technology. For, for instance, Somalia, there's the, the fiat currency of that country is already collapsed and it has basically very little value uh, at some point, and people don't even accept it as a form of payment. So if your currency is already being devaluated and not even accepted through the existing financial, <laughs> an average person that owns an assets anywhere in Africa will be better off to hold a Bitcoin because there is no precedent that it increase the notes of, of a Bitcoin, just how they would increase 
the central bank, <laughs> yeah. your fiat currency. I signed on my uh, Columbia School of Engineering uh, and I get into a Bitcoin, and that Bitcoin blockchain in general and become a developer into Solidity, build a few coins myself, ERC20. I could say that it's a very easy, very understandable uh, programming language. The only issue that is that it's the gas fee of Ethereum, it's really, really too high. And, and, and until the Ethereum changes their, their, their protocol, it's uh, very challenging, you know. It, it, I want to see Bitcoin becoming just like the ATM QR code scanner that you can scan it, that level of, of, of it be a mainstream. And then I think that's what Satoshi Wallets and others are working on it, Lightning Networks working on it. Bitcoin becomes similarly accessible to anyone that can do it an ATM card or, or, or debit card possibility. That's what I would, you know, thinking that will really be a game changer for a mass adoption. Well, cleared our plates. That was delicious. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm glad that we had it that tasty.